Hey everybody, I am Koi Cox with Water Tower Craftsman. It has been a while since I've been able to make it out into the shop and actually do some woodworking. And so I'm gonna try and get a little bit of stuff done tonight. Right now, I don't have a whole lot of time to be able to spend out here. I've just got some time on the weekends. And then I've got a little bit of time before I have to head into work during the week. That doesn't give me a lot of time to be able to do long form content. So rather than doing long full length videos of an entire project, what I'm going to be doing is shorter videos of each step of the project. This will allow me to be able to kind of keep you up to date on what projects that I'm doing and maybe give some tips and tricks along the way. I've got some walnut right here um, that I do have a project in mind for and rather than telling you what the project is, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just let it reveal itself as we go through each video. I've already got it dimensioned to its final thickness and I'm going to, uh, probably all I have time for tonight is to cut it to its final dimensions. And then on these longer pieces of walnut right here, I need to cut a half inch rabbit in the end to be able to receive these smaller pieces. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to cut this to its final width. I don't have a whole lot of width left on these smaller pieces. Um, I've really just got like four inches. And then uh, I wanna save as much of this as I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip these boards down to four inches, just like the others. But you'll see on here that it's got a lot of knot and kind of rotted wood. And so I wanna cut out as much of that as I can. You can see it's really bad on this one. It looks really pretty and it's got a lot of character, but it's not very structurally sound. So we're gonna try and cut off as much of that as we can. We're gonna cut off of this side. I've already got my fence set up, so we're gonna make those cuts now. So one thing you didn't see is off camera, I actually made this crosscut sled, and I just made it out of some scrap pieces laying around the shop. Um, they're pretty easy to make. There's a whole bunch of videos online on how to make them. It's not really hard. So I'm actually going to use this to cut these boards to their final length. The dimensions that I've decided on is uh, I want it to be 18 inches wide and about 13 inches tall. I need to cut these shorter boards down to about 12 and a half inches to account for that rabbit on the end for a total of 13 inches in height. After that, I'm going to cut these down to 18 inches and I'm going to try and cut off again as much of this wood as I can. Again, this is really brittle, uh, it's not very structurally sound, it can break very easily, so I'm going to try and get as much of that off. It'll probably cut right about there. But I'm going to use my crosscut sled to actually clean up one edge and get it at a perfectly 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to measure out 12 and a half inches or 18 inches and make my final cut. All right, so I just wanted to point something out real quick of what I'm doing. Um, I've set up a stop block on my table fence right here that just comes out a little bit off of my fence. I use that as a reference point and I mark it. I wanna stop it and have it come right out to 12 and a half inches on my line on my cross cut sled. When I am pushing my piece forward for my final cut, it'll clear that stop block and then not be rubbing along this fence right here and risk kicking back. I'm gonna clean up one edge, push it through, and then make my final cut. So now you can see uh, after I've made my cuts, that stop block allows me to make exact repeatable cuts so you can see that both ends are perfectly flush with each other. Now I'm going to do the same thing at 18 inches. I'm going to set this up at 18 inches and then cut my other two pieces and then I'll have the final length for all my parts. You heard the old saying measure twice, cut once. This is one of the reasons why I like this stop block setup. So I can set it up. As you can see, 18 inches. All right, try to get you guys in here as close as I can here. So I've actually used my board here and I'm just using the thickness of my material to set up my stop block. 
So you can see like right on that inside line right here is where I want my material touching and where I'm gonna put my stop lock up. That way I know that I'm cutting for the thickness of my material. I milled these down to a half an inch and so I only want to take off about half an inch of material for these rabbits. So I've used my combination square and there's probably, there's some other tools that you can use to get a more precise measurement. This is all I have in my shop. And I just use that to kind of set at a quarter inch and then I raise my blade and to where my saw blade is just barely touching uh, the bottom of my combination square so that I know I'm at the right height. Now I'm gonna cut those rabbits. Actually, before I cut those, this is kind of where you have to decide what you want the outside of your piece to be. Um, because obviously the outside is what's gonna be on display and that's what everybody's gonna see. And uh, while I do have a lot of character here um, with this knot, I really like the figuring that moves through here. So I think this is gonna be the outside, which means that I wanna cut those rabbits on the inside right here. Um, the same thing with this one. I kinda gotta decide and so again, not a whole lot of options. The only thing that's really swaying me is this piece right here. Um, I don't want to take too much off of this side because then I'm worried that, that joint, that joint right there is going to become very weak. So I'm actually going to cut here, cut my joint in right there, and then this will be my outside face right there. are done the next thing is I need to actually cut a dado along the back that's going to receive the back panel so unfortunately I don't have the material that I need to be able to slide into that dado and I don't want to cut them until I actually have it so that's probably what I'm going to do in my next video um, I hope you enjoyed this one uh, I hope you stay tuned in to the videos in the future thanks for watching so unfortunately I don't have the uh, fortunately I don't have the material yet. fortunately I don't have unfortunately I don't have the material that I need to be able to put in Right now, I so right now, <clears throat> shorter videos. <laughs> so right now.